today I'm going to talk about the coronavirus again because unfortunately it's in every aspect of our lives currently. So governments in various countries are doing completely different things. There's no one global approach and even though the scientists around the world agree on things, it's the politicians who make the ultimate decision and the politicians are just ordinary people who promised their constituents that they're going to change their lives and make this world a better place and therefore they're elected. People choose their leaders. Donald Trump is a typical example. There are currently massive riots going on in America over the death of this black person who was killed by a policeman. And to be honest, everyone's blaming the president, but everyone should blame themselves because whatever they did led to him being elected. If it was such a big issue, these riots should have taken place when he was elected and said this is not fair and the election was rigged because that's the excuse that most Americans give. But I bet the vast majority of them were sleeping at home instead of going out and voting for the right person. But anyway, even if you vote for the right person, they are not elected or chosen because of their merit and the fact that they are good at what they do. They're just chosen because they're popular and people like them. You know my view on democracy. You can watch one of my other videos where I talk about meritocracy rather than democracy because I think all the root of all the problems we have is we choose morons to run the country and then we blame them for being morons and unfortunately we chose them. As you can see, I'm preventing Corona. Yesterday, this is exactly what I saw. A woman screaming at other people to stay two meters away from her while she was wearing a mask like this. So obviously her nose is completely blocked and no air gets through it. Otherwise, you know, she would have to cover her nose. I'm making this video because the whole world is going to shit and they are behaving like absolute buffoons. It's rather shocking to see how grown-up adults, some of whom are highly educated, are behaving like complete idiots. So, first of all, the distance between two people recommended by the government is two meters in the UK, while in many other countries around Europe, it's only 1.5 meters. I'm sure Germans would have done some calculations and figured out it should be 1.35765 centimeters. So, but the point is, it's about being sensible and using your brain. Every time any of these issues occur, I lose my faith in humanity because people are just so dumb. It's unbelievable. So this woman yesterday in um, outside a supermarket was shouting at this guy who was behind her and he was maybe one meter away from her and she was like, you're not two meters away from me. Step back. The government's telling us this is the law. And I was thinking, you know what? You have the brain the size of a chickpea. I think a chicken would probably have more brain power than you. And you just suddenly have found out some way you can shout at someone else for something. The other funny thing I see all over the place is people are wearing gloves. I'm like, okay, what are you doing with these gloves? Because when you're in a hospital, for example, and you're operating on a patient, you wash your hands properly, you wear the gloves, you make sure that they don't touch anything else, and when you're done, you throw them away. Whereas these people wear the same gloves indoors, outdoors, they leave the house with their gloves, they go to the shop, use it, come back, remove it. And the funniest thing was this guy in the post office was drinking from a water bottle and he was using the gloves to open it, remove his mask, and then drink it from where he was touching the nozzle of the bottle. <laughs> I was just like, dude, you have no common sense. And it's just like, gosh, I don't think the human race can be saved. It's just a disgrace. As for the coronavirus, I see so many comments on YouTube and social media from various people 
and everyone is saying that comparing it to SARS and all the other things. I don't know, I'm not a microbiologist or a scientist who works with viruses, but there's, there are a few logical common sense things that come to my head. Ebola and SARS are the kind of things where people caught them and then died. It's a very severe disease, therefore it can be contained because the host, being the human being, dies and you burn the body or bury it and that virus and that thing is contained. Whereas with coronavirus, so it's very contagious because if someone breathes heavily, if someone coughs, the droplets and the particles will go and infect the other person, which doesn't happen in other diseases, I assume. Until we have a vaccine, everyone was going to get the virus. If they don't get it now because they're isolating themselves, they'll get it at some point in the future because they're bound to come in contact with someone who has the virus. So if you kiss someone, if you, they cough, they sneeze, you cannot prevent this virus from getting to you. And even the vaccines, they're only 55, 60% effective and the virus mutates so vaccines sometimes are completely useless and that's why the flu vaccine isn't one of the best things because you get the flu vaccine and then you still get the flu because it could be a different strain thanks for watching once again and more videos to come